iPad OS 16 brought iPads to a new level, a level where now iPads compete with laptops and PCs. And with the iPad OS 16, now we have the external monitor support. So now let me just show you here on my desk how you can use it to its full potential. Let me start today by showing you around the setup that I have here today. I do have my iPad Pro 12.9 inch, the M1 version. As for this feature to need the external monitor, you do need the latest M1 iPads for it to work. The monitor I have right here is the Lenovo 34 inch ultra wide monitor. And here is its name if you are interested. It is the G34W10. And the mouse that I have here for today is the Logitech Pebble M350 which I do highly recommend. And it does come at a low price point. And the keyboard that I am using, the one that you can see right here, is the Logitech K380 multi-device keyboard. So now let me just start by what happens when you first connect your iPad to an HDMI cable. As you can see right here, I do have it connected to an HDMI cable via an adapter, a USB-C hub. When you first connect your iPad, the screen mirrored and it will not be used as a second monitor. So what you need to do here, don't worry, you just need to connect it to a keyboard and which I am doing right here, I've turned it on. As you can see, as soon as it connects to the keyboard, it does turn into a second monitor. And if you are interested, if you can connect your iPad to an ultra wide monitor, as you can see right here, you can do it easily. So now let me just show you here what you can and how you can use it for. As you can see, I do have my mouse here. It is connected and it is showing right now here. And I do have it side by side and you can change that from the settings. So as soon as I uh, move my mouse to the far left, it will be moved to the iPad right here. Let me just show you how you can change that from the settings application. So you can change the arrangement of the monitor and your iPad from the settings application, from display and brightness. And as you can see here, I do have the displays and here is the arrangement. You just press on it and you choose where your iPad is located in reference to the monitor you have it connected to. So you can use this monitor as a MacBook or even as your iPad, whatever you choose. So let me now just show you how I can open multiple of applications at the same time and how they are viewed here on the monitor. So as you have seen before, I do have here a Safari website with multiple of windows. I do have it right now in full screen, but I can minimize it from just uh, pinching it from any of the corners as you can see right here. I can pinch it and I can resize it to whatever size I want. If I decrease its height, as you can see, this bar will be shown and I can just remove it by, and I can maximize the height of my website by just again resizing it using my mouse. And I do have here my stage manager sidebar, which I can switch between applications from. As you can see right here, I can pinch whatever tab I want and I can open it in a different screen and side by side. I can yet again resize them so that I have them in full screen, but both applications open at the same time. Plus, you can also open other applications as you can see right here. I will just open YouTube. So as you can see right here, I do have YouTube opened as an application. And I can yet again resize it to whatever size I like. Not only that, I can open another website or another application side by side. As you can see right here, I do have Safari and I do have the YouTube application right here opened at the same time. And yet again, I can open another application with them let me just show you. I do have here Word, Microsoft Word opened at the same time. So right now I have three applications opened at the same time on my ultra wide monitor using my iPad. I can still use my iPad with my hand or even with the mouse by bringing the mouse to the far left as you have seen before. So one problem I have encountered with using Microsoft applications is that I cannot pinch in to zoom or resize the page that I have opened. Let me just show you here. I do have this template here, but I have no way of controlling the zoom. And I've tried using command and the scroll wheel and with the plus and minus keys, and it did not work. The only way I've got it to work is by going to the iPad, opening the Word application and resizing it here. 
and the second time I open it on my monitor, it will be resized the same to the same size I have it on my iPad. And I do believe this is just a beta problem and it will be fixed so as soon as the full iPad OS 16 is released. But for some reasons, not all applications you can resize. As you can see right here, I do have Netflix open, but I cannot resize it to the desired uh, size I want here on my monitor. And as you can see, when I open a movie, it is uh, shown in this way, which is not really ideal and you can't really use it. And I do believe it will be fixed as soon as the iPad OS is released. So this was today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be making a separate video on gaming on an external monitor on the iPad using a PlayStation 5 controller or even just using the iPad. So make sure to watch it if you are interested. Leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Until later.